Right, well, it's Saturday morning and the Christmas sales are going well. But today, we think we've got uh, Agricultural Royalty who's arrived at GCS and uh, he's quite excited at looking at all the toys. So, uh, here we have the Mr. Tom Lamb. Just come to do my Christmas, the farm, sh yeah. Christmas shopping. Look at that, eh? So, yeah. he knows a good place to come. So, yeah, but, but look, I like his hat. Look at the hat. The hat. Look at that. He's a farmer. Tom Lamb, he's a farmer. So, uh, on your website? Or you got a website? Uh, it's on my Instagram. On his Instagram? Link is in the bio for my hats. <laughs> I will just say, these toys, they're of a very good quality, which is what I like, and that's why I've come to get them, because most places you go, they're like cheap, horrible things, whereas these are good quality stuff. Well, there you go. See, you heard it there from, from Tom Lamb. What uh, more could you want? So, uh, Fantastic place to come. I'm going to go and have a look around the trailers in a minute as well, because there's a massive stock of trailers, and I like the look of them. Right, there you go. We film, maybe film a bit more in a minute, maybe. Well, I might even come away with a bit more than some toys yet. We'll go and have a look in a minute. Hmm, <laughs> I see. Right, there we go. I did think about taking Colin a diesel bowser for the one the other day, but I don't, I don't think I'll get it in my car. You would? You would? We can, get, we can get it in, I promise you, we can get it in. Have you seen it? What, the, the, the Fiesta? No, it's a 107. Is that, oh, is that right, Josh? I'm not very good with cars. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's see what else it is. Let's see. Well. It may be the week before Christmas, but there's still machinery leaving the yard. Look at that. What an achievement. Well, it's, well we think it's an achievement anyway, because uh, while most people in our industry are on the wind down, picking up machinery and slowing right down, we're managing to keep it going and keep stuff going out the door. So, uh, um, yeah, good stuff. I think Gabby this morning looks like an armed robber. Look at that, it looks like an armed robber this morning. Got to keep warm, warm, Well, it's not cold. It is warm. Meanwhile, I'm heading out to break down. We're not break down as such. Here we go. Another one out the gate on Christmas week. Good job. Michelle's even looking serious this morning. Put him out. Over the office, see? Never rest, never stops. Right, well, I'm gonna head off and do a repair on a tractor. Apparently a lorry on Saturday wiped both the ring mirrors off of one side of the tractor. So um, I need to go and replace those. Um, never ends, does it? Never ends. It's all good fun. Character building, a lot of young child, I was always told all these things are character building. But um, the easy thing is just to go and do the job, even though it's probably not the most exciting job in the world. And um, just, I wouldn't blow my phone there. The answer is just go and get on with it and get it done. So uh, let's go and do it. Right, we've just popped into our local Double Day um, depot at Swine's Ed, and it's, uh, it's like Christmas. It's toys, clothing, full of stuff. So I'll have a very quick look around and show you what's here. Then we're going out, outside and have a look, and uh, yeah, it's quite impressive stuff out there. So, uh, right, quick tour of the, quick tour of the uh, depot here. Right. I think this would be uh, young John Deere Mick would be in heaven here. So Tracy, if you need to know what to get, get John Deere Mick for Christmas, this could be the place to come. Brew the toys. Obviously you can get them at GCS, so you wouldn't want to get them here, would you? But uh, what a beautiful depot, hey? It's, um, very inspiring to come places like this and have a look at what they do and how they do it and how they present it. Look at that. And I have to say, some very, help, very helpful staff who are hiding behind the uh, parts counter there. Very helpful, very helpful. Look at that. Lots of toys. Because it's not double days, it's not double days, it's Ben Burgess now, sorry. I did a bit of misjustice there. It used to be a double days. Now it's been Burgess, so uh, look at that nice Christmas tree. So there we go. What a super depot. Right, we're going to have a look outside. 
There we go, look at that. It's a ride on mowers all decorated for Christmas. They're quite cool, don't they? Quite smart. But look at that for a beast. Eight RX. We saw one of them at Agri Technica. But uh, what a tractor. What a tractor that is. Becoming more and more popular. We certainly see more of this stuff in Lincolnshire now. But uh, right, we're going to put these boxes in the van and we'll have a quick look at uh, some of the diggers here. And tractors. Look at that for a nice depot. So, sorry, sorry I called it double days earlier on, but it was, um, it used to be. And I think Ben Burgess took over the um, double day group as part of the expansion of uh, the dealer network. But these are the first time I've actually seen um, Yanmar diggers in the red colour. So, uh, I'm guessing it's about 12 tonner but with the offset boom, so uh, that would certainly be a very handy machine now. What do you think of the red colour? Do you like it? Is it good? Small uh, 1.7 tonne Yanmar again in the red. Have Yanmar gone to red for all their machines now? I don't know. Um, perhaps if anybody does know, they could let us advise us. Uh, 6130R, 6R155. Six are one six five. Kramer telehandler there. Fitted with the uh, JCB Q fit headstock. So, uh, so what are people's thoughts on the on the Kramer? 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 What are their thoughts on them? How do you like them? Would you think we should have them in the higher fleet? Would they be a good um, asset to us? What do you think? But well, they all look nice and tidy when they're new. Um, but what do customers think of them? So we we'll move on. What have we got? 6R215, 6R250, another 250. Look at that. It's a Christmas tinsel on now. Wow, what do we think? Nice tractors, very nice tractors. So what will you be seeing coming to the GCS uh, fleet for long? Do you can see some more John Deere's? Yeah. 155 is a nice tractor. There we go. Right, I've run off my project now, anyway. I should thank Ben Burgess for allowing me to photograph. We did, ask, we did ask them would they mind and they were more than happy. So uh, there we go. Right, on to the next uh, task of fitting some ring mirrors for a tractor. Right, well that's one tractor repair done. Um, both wing mirrors have been uh, smashed off one side by a lorry, it happens. Um, so we've been out, we've repaired that for our customer. Um, down in Peterborough, um, now we're heading home. Well, back to the yard anyway. Um, am I the only person that Christmas creeps up on and catches me out? Because you know, I am nowhere near ready for Christmas. Nowhere near. And it's almost like the same every year. So is it just me or are you like it? Tell us in the box below. Do you get caught out of Christmas? I don't know. So, Right, it's Monday morning, we're in the yard. It may be a week to Christmas, but we've got things to do. So we're um, always on a mission here now to paint out our oil stores. So um, from Drill and Drew, so we're going to paint spray them because we're not going to make, not going to spend hours on them, but we're on. So you can see behind me we have chaos here where everything else has been um, moved outside. Uh, but uh, no, I'll show you what he's doing. This is our old oil store. We're going to give it a very quick um, blast over with some paint just to give it a refresh. And I'll see. We didn't notice that. It's right next to it. There's the compressor for the paint spray. They brought one over. Look at that. They're on it. Here's the new one. Yes, we put two uh, oil, oil um, things in there. They are going to come out again in a minute. And we're going to um, respray, just not respray, spray is unwiped, make it to be a lot brighter and easier. So uh, 
That's today's job. I thought I'd just, there's no way we're going to go uh, pack up for Christmas without having a big mess. Paul's on his Sunday morning, I think when he was uh, got out of bed, he's washed all this down. So it's all fresh and clean. We've got more security lights going to go on these containers. We've got more cameras going on these containers because we are um, upping our security quite a lot due to one or two recent events. Um, but uh, the cameras are quite good these days because they connect to your phone. So the minute someone steps in the yard, the phone goes bleep bleep. Well, several people's phones go bleep bleep. So uh, that's always a help. So anyway, a bit of an update later on. We're going to end this video here. Um, please tune into the next one to see the continuation of what we're doing. Um, please click and subscribe. Uh, it does mean a lot. And um, we'll see you in the next video. So thanks for watching.